I work in the mobile games industry and optimization for best performance is very important. I have this asset from our actual game here. I want to optimize it as best I can. The game itself is always in top down view and it's important to keep that in mind uh, and to optimize for that specific view angle. Now inspecting the model, it doesn't actually look like uh, there are any huge issues going on. But uh, I say this can be optimized quite a bit without sacrificing much of the fidelity. Let me turn on backface calling so we can see holes. And let's duplicate the model so we can have visual reference later on. So I'll start with the most obvious stuff. These edge loops here, they're pretty redundant. We can get rid of them. We can select them all individually, dissolve edges, but it's actually easier to use the UV editor with UV sync selection turned on. And we can identify one of the loops and then just select it right here. And that selects all these uh, loops throughout the model. We can hit dissolve. So that's a bit easier. And after that, we can look at one, see some of the stragglers and just uh, pick them off manually. Because sometimes, you know, using the UV editor doesn't get you all the way uh, there. And also you have to keep in mind and uh, watch out for when you're selecting geometry in the UV editor, you can accidentally select parts of the geometry that you didn't want because stuff can be overlaid on top of each other in the UV editor. And you have to watch out for selecting the you know wrong edge loops and stuff. Okay, now that's done. I'd argue that these tiny facets here, uh, they're not actually going to be visible from the player's point of view, so we can safely get rid of them. And one of the ways to do that is to, once again, use the UV editor and collapse these. Like that. As you can see, all of them have been collapsed. Now, uh, let me check the underside of the model. Remember to turn on backface cooling. And um, it mostly looks okay, but I'd say it can still be pushed further. For example, the player is probably never going to see these polygons right here because he's always viewing from the top, or she. So we can just select them once again in mind you might select something wrong so you have to double check in the 3d viewport so we just delete them what else these probably let me select them and then check from the top i mean there are some angles where they can kind of be seen but I'd say not really, so we can just delete them. Let's see what else. Make sure there are no invisible polygons. They're hiding. All right. These supporting edges on top of these knobs and uh, these things they give some character, but I'd say not enough to keep them. So we can once again go to the UV editor and select, dissolve, and let's just turn off the overlay. It's this button, but I have it set on the hotkey, Alt, um, Alt something. And if we dissolve and see that there's didn't change a whole lot, so. I, get, I think it's okay. All right, and these ones, let's find them. 
resolve. Some character was lost once again, but I'd argue not enough, and we can select it if we feel that the spokes became too thick. We can select the tops and make them smaller individually by going to individual origins and scaling them down a little bit. So now that we deleted the extra edges or polygons on the bottom, we have these holes here. And it's actually okay because the player is never going to see them. But on top of that, we can collapse them into a single vertex. So let's compare by seeing how many triangles there were before. So it's 2516. Let's collapse it into a vertex. And now it's uh, 2512. So there was actually a four triangle decrease. And after we did that, we can just pull them up here and uh, the result is gonna be pretty much the same visually. And if, obviously, if you multiply that by the number of these things, then you end up with a significant decrease in tries. So let's do that for all of these uh, edge loops. Maybe identify them. Collapse. And as you can see, I just collapsed while being in edge mode, and that actually lost the selection. So now I have to select it all over again. It's kind of inconvenient. So to get rid um, or rather to bypass that, we can convert our selection to vertices by pressing 1, then collapse, and now we have these vertices selected still, so we can bring them up here. You know what, these loops here, they're also kind of redundant, I feel like, so I probably am gonna just get rid of them as well, let's see. It makes a huge difference. Eh, maybe not. Maybe let's just leave these. Now, we can do the same thing we just did uh, for these vertices in more than one place. For example, here we have a whole lot of invisible geometry that's never going to be seen by the player. Let's select that. And be careful not to select things that are going to be visible. All right, delete the faces. Now we're left with this, these holes again. Let's see what happens if we collapse them. Bring them up. And that actually changes the character of the, um, of the pole significantly, so I'm not going to do that. But these these can be safely collapsed. So let's select them, collapse, oops, collapse, and bring them up. There we go. Same visual, but different triangle count. And that's what we are after. Excuse me. Now we have some stragglers here. Let's see. I might have missed some. It's okay. All right. Now, the last part is kind of questionable, so it's going to be up to everyone's visual preference. But I think I can actually get rid of these poly loops as well. If we collapse them like this. Yes, we lost thickness, but I'd argue that it's not really that important, especially if it's going to be tiny in the player's point of view. So let me just do that for all these. Just collapse them one by one. So be careful and undo. And I actually keep my undo levels at 100 so that I can go way back in case, of, in case I made several mistakes. All right, and I can see there are some redundant edges here and here. Obviously, this can be safely deleted.
I'd go as far as to say that probably these can be gotten rid of as well. I don't know. The best bet is actually to check all this, uh, all these changes in your game because it might end up looking different from the 3D viewport in your editor. But for the sake of uh, this little video, I just I'm just gonna uh, leave it here. Right. And lastly, these edge loops can do with a bit of trimming as well, I think. So we can just delete some of them. Not a huge difference. And you can select them individually like that, or you can just go select the edge ring by control clicking, then select check or deselect and oops, I actually ended up selecting the wrong ones so you have to the initial edge that you select has to be the one it, that you don't want to be to end up selected so i select control click this edge click check or deselect and the edge i originally selected ended up being uh, not selected so now I have the edges I want to delete, and I just uh, go select edge loops and dissolve. And do the same thing here. Select, checker, deselect, and I actually have uh, edge loops set to quick favorites. Highly recommended. And uh, I think we're just about done. So let's compare these models visually and I'd say there's not a huge amount of difference obviously probably these places are the most obviously different and uh, as I said that's a kind of an arguable area that you can take or leave uh, I'd say there's a good argument to be made for leaving them stuff like that but I made a decision to do it like this. So let's compare the triangle count. So the original model was 3400 and our model is uh, 2000 and uh, 222. So it's pretty sizable decrease in, in polygons. And I'm sure if you know you dig a little deeper, you could do even more optimizations. Obviously, I probably forgot to delete some edges and maybe you could. Uh, oh, and by the way, we forgot to do a whole other thing. These uh, edges, edge loops, they can actually be replaced uh, with vertices. It's actually pretty nice. So we look at the triangle count. It's um, 2000, um, so it's 216. And now if we collapse that and select the resulting vertex, Press V to rip the faces or the vertices and move them over like over each other like this. It ends up uh, six triangles less, so that's actually a good case, a good argument for going um, by each of one of these and just replacing them with a vertex. And uh, that's just the same visual effect but with, for a much lower uh, triangle cost so i hope it helps someone and uh thank you for watching